Welcome back into the shop, you guys. I hope you're all doing well today, and I hope that you guys had a nice, productive week. So I guess I can kind of give you a rundown of some of the stuff that happened this week. So with Wallzilla, this big project that I'm doing, I kind of summarized this to a couple people in that the amount of work that I did this past week on this project probably would have taken me two, if not three weeks in the old shop, which is pretty remarkable. I mean, I, I think about like the plywood, the face frames, the drawers, like all of these parts that I've done for this project at this scale, like it would have been so much more time consuming just in trying to move stuff around and trying to fit stuff and make it work in the old shop. So I guess this is, what is this, the second week that I've been in this shop and I have to say that it's been really nice to actually be able to work and get stuff done and kind of reflecting on that on this project. Like all this right here is tremendous progress that I didn't really expect this quickly. Coming up to our favorite vantage point on the outfit table, you can kind of get a better idea as to what we're working with. So these are all the parts for Wallzilla here. Something that I think is important is to, I guess, clean as you go. I guess, what is it? Clean as you go as a pro, clean as you go, just as a pro, I think is the phrase. Um, and I've kind of adopted that in that like this project is so big and if I didn't clean, then I'd be a lot more inefficient, ineffective, and it really wouldn't be fun in here. So I guess cleaning every couple days or at least once a week is good. And I finally got the floors nice and clean, as you can see. I also took some time to clean up the whole back part of the shop there, and that was a complete mess. So let, I guess, let me just show you everything I've done. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about is all of this right here, which are the drawer parts for Wallzilla. And there's gonna be a total of six drawers in this project, or there's six drawers left in this project that I have to make. And it's all gonna be out of this three quarter solid maple. One of the other things I've kind of learned from other woodworkers and YouTube videos and that kind of thing is that after you actually mill down your lumber, one of the important things to do is to let it dry evenly. And what I mean by that is if you have, you know, a couple boards milled down for your project and you just kind of stack them up like this and you leave them on your planer, what might happen is this edge right here is going to dry out, but then the opposing edge, as well as all the other faces, apart from, I guess, the bottom one, those aren't going to get airflow. So in terms of drying and the wood acclimating to the new environment because this is all fresh wood that you just milled it might not dry evenly which would then mean that your boards could kind of twist and warp and bow just a little bit so like all of this material i milled down maybe two days ago and it's been sitting here kind of drying and acclimating so that then when i actually go ahead and make them into panels they're hopefully all going to be still straight and flat so that's what i'm hoping for so in the mail a couple days ago i actually got the router bits i'm going to be using on the drawer faces as well as the the two cabinet doors and this is kind of like my first uh cabinet bit set so i thought i'd kind of show you these so i'll take these out and We'll look closer at them. So these are a stale, stale. So these are a rail and style set. Um, I also bought a raised panel bit, which hasn't actually come in yet, but these are for the rail and style on the drawers as well as the, the cabinet doors, like I just said. But the exciting thing about these is that they're actually a classical pattern. And on this project, I'm actually using a lot of traditional elements, I guess is what you would call them. Um, so this is hopefully going to be matching very well with that so i'm excited to see how that turns out so there is one of the profiles right there i'm going to carefully set this on the piece of paper not the cast iron i know you guys would give me crap if i put it on the cast iron the brand new router bit oh there we go so now there is the second profile so i think what i'll probably do in the next couple of days is probably run some scraps uh with these bits in the router table just to kind of get an idea 
um, kind of get a feel for these. I've never actually made cabinet doors on the router table before, so this will be kind of a first. Um, and I guess the, the other thing I wanted to mention is if you guys are ever looking for router bits, now what I'm about to say is not sponsored um, at all. I just like their stuff, but white side is pretty good. They're really high quality. They're obviously very, very sharp as well. And I look forward to using these. So I'm actually also looking forward to using these on the router table. And the, the raised panel bit that I got is also kind of in that same style too. So. I'll obviously go into more detail on these and that bit in the, the Wallzilla part um, where I build the cabinet doors and that kind of thing. But So I think that's pretty much all I have for you guys for this kind of shop update video. There wasn't really um, a whole lot that happened this week other than working on the project. And I'm not going to really reiterate all that because, well, you can just go back and watch those videos. Um, I guess this coming week, the first thing I'll probably do on Monday is pick up more material to mill down. Um, for those drawer boxes and get those put together and then we should be rolling on that next part of the project. Now someone was asking how many parts there are going to be to this project and I don't really know. I mean I think this is rolling a lot quicker than what I thought it was going to be. Now I don't really know how long the painting and priming and that kind of thing is going to take. Probably like a week or so with that. I'm looking forward to actually getting this done and out of here that way I can actually work on other stuff. And I guess speaking of other stuff, if you guys have any other project ideas or shop projects you'd like to see, as well as furniture in January, I'm going to be hitting that really hard with all the projects that I have planned for that. Um, but if there's anything specifically, like I just said, please let me know down in the comments and I'd love to hear it. So on that note, I think that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this one. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.